What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is episode number 18 and we're going to do some digging today because we're making this hangar and it's going to be awesome. So we've got a nice little marker right here for hangar. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go and grab our, probably our hazard miner, which is the bigger one that's up top. And we're going to go around and start digging from the other side because it's going to be easier to, uh, to dig from there than it will be to dig from here because this is a smaller area. So let's take our tram back so we can actually say we used it at least once. Uh, shoot, we don't have buttons for this thing yet, do we? We just have to sit in here, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Can I get in third person? I'd like to be able to see. And disconnect that, and let's go! On our beautiful tram that has lots of major issues when it comes to actually seeing what's going on. <laughs> Which is... Oh, wait, we're going a little fast for this turn. It's probably fine. It is indeed fine. I'm really glad that that's actually fine. Because remember, we had so many problems at the start with trying to get this thing to... To even go around those turns properly. Now it looks like we have that kind of handled pretty well. Uh, how's the braking on this thing do? We tested it last time, but I think... I don't remember very well. I think it breaks pretty well. So if we start braking now, we should be fine to enter the station. In fact, we braked a little too early, it seems like, even. Okay, and stop us right there. Press P to disconnect, and we're out, and we're back. Oops, okay, we're, we're trapped in the... In the middle thing. There we go. We're back on the corner. Now we're not going to use that miner right there, or we might for the interior parts, but we're going to use the larger one, which is up top, for any major, uh, any major things because just because it's bigger, it's nicer. Well, not nah, it, it's 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 bigger. <laughs> I like the small one personally because it, you know you can get in places pretty easily. Oh shoot, phase one and two. What was it? Was it this one? I don't know why these are both named. Nope. Yeah, it's this one. There we go. The moment you forget what your elevator buttons do because they're named the same exact thing. Elevator phase 1 and 2 and elevator phase 1 and 2. Alright, here we are. Bouncing a little bit, but it's okay. Let's head outside. And here is our hazard miner. The crazy four, four mining thing. The other one only has two on the bottom, which is why this one's going to be a little bit better for this particular task. Oh, I don't want to use my jetpack. I haven't used it all any of the way here. Let me get in. <laughs> Uh, yes! Okay, we managed to get in. Let's go ahead and turn this off recharge mode, then disconnect, which you guys told me not to use P, so let's maybe uh, get a connector here. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, is there a way to see which one is... Oh, window blocks has its own thing. That's cool. You know what? We're pressing P. It's fine. Nothing's gonna go wrong. See, the other one's still attached. Don't worry, guys. All right, let's head over there. In fact, we can delete this whole thing. We might as well do that right now so it doesn't stay uh, looking pretty bad like that. All right, did we miss a spot? No, we didn't. Nice and clean. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna head over down into this little area and we're gonna turn around and see if we can do some some of that good old, good old fashioned mining. Okay, we should have a signal. Let me press H, fully visible, there we go. Where's our signal for this? There, okay, that's our signal. And I wanna get, I wanna get to the point where I'm looking at our signal. Man, can I turn those antennas off? What if I press, oh, will I turn it off? Zero? How do you turn off your, do I have, maybe I have to be out of a ship. I wanna turn off all those antennas because I can't see. Maybe I could do this. That kind of helps. Okay, so we're aiming for that right there. And we wanna have it level like this. So we're making like a straight, level area. Let's turn it back on so we can see. Yeah, so we're just going to go straight in right here. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. We're going to start by making a straight line toward where we're trying to go, and once we have a straight line, we can kind of even it out a little bit more. Make it look, uh, make it look a little nicer. You know, it occurs to me, we haven't actually done that much mining in this season, nor did we do it very much in season two, did we? Season one was like all mining. <laughs> We would go on mining expeditions all the time because we needed to, but in this one, we've been pretty set for stuff. As far as, like, iron goes and, and like, uh, cobalt and stuff, we're pretty good. I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of one of the reasons I did the whole jetpack thing is because I wanted to get back to, like, the sort of the roots of the game instead of, uh, like, season two was all about building crazy stuff, and I guess this season is a little bit as well. But like season two, we had the nanites and everything, which really sped things up quite a bit. Oh, uh, we're okay. It's a little bit misleading where those markers are, but it's fine. 
All right, any second now we should be coming into the light. There it is. And we're a little bit too low. It's not that bad though because this is where the blocks are going to go anyway. So I'm, I'm fine with it. Let's kind of even this out a little bit now that we're in here with the, uh, with the bigger miner. Make it nice and even. Okay, that's probably pretty good on that side. Now, the, the idea I have is the hangar is going to be pretty large, but I think I want the, the station to be, like, kind of on a side of the hangar, and then, like, there'd be a lot more hangar on that side as well. So I think I'm fine with, uh, with stopping right here and then continuing more uh, that way a little bit. I'm going to run out of oxygen eventually. Oh, wait, you know what I can do, actually? I can hop out of this, as long as we have a lot of power for that thing. I can hop out of that and just go in here, and that'll give me, that'll refill all my, all my stuff. Aha! Okay, good. That was a, a, a thing I didn't pay attention to when I was building this thing. I really should have made it so that it has a, a, a O2 H2 generator. Just because it's so easy to add in. But it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's... How do I want to do this? Oh my god, that's a lot of area to mine out. It almost makes me want like another ship to just go straight through with everything. But you know what? I don't know. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just keep going. Keep trucking through. Dig, dig, dig a tunnel. Dig, dig, dig a tunnel. Dig, dig, dig a tunnel. Dig before the hyenas come. Cop, cop, copyrighted. Cop, cop, copyrighted. Cop, cop, copyrighted. Copyrighted by Disney World. Bottom, 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 bottom. Bottom, 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 bottom. All right, look at it. Well, you know, it doesn't look so amazing from here, but look at that. We'll probably mine off this a little bit to make it look a little nicer. That's a nice entrance to the hangar. It looks like. Have any of you guys seen Battlestar Galactica? It looks like one of those bays where they launched the uh, the Vipers from. Are they called Vipers? I don't know all their ship names. Vipers, there's Vipers and there's Serp, no, not Serpents. <laughs> Falcons? No, I forget the name. Man, why didn't I bring the mole with me? That would've, <laughs> that would've been perfect for this. Do I need to build another mole? I feel like I, well, it's only for this one thing. But it would speed things up quite significantly. How much of a pain in the butt would it be to make a, a large miner? Actually, I'm pretty sure large miners have the same drill radius as small ones. That could be completely wrong, but I, I thought that was the uh, the case at least. You guys can correct me in the comments if you know, which I'm sure some of you do. <laughs> between between all of you guys, I think we know everything there is to know about space engineers. Like someone here knows how to make a jump drive, uh, mine into a planet. Somehow. <laughs> Every little bit of, of uh, space engineer's knowledge exists somewhere. Ooh, is that, a, is that a sunset I see? Oh! A beautiful sunset is what that is. Alrighty, let's see how she looks. Well, not our, not our nicest line, but we can go and correct that as well. Make that look a little nicer. We're probably going to add blocks here anyway, so... Well, or maybe we won't. Well, no, it's not smooth enough not to. If we were using voxel hand, maybe we can make a smooth enough dirt hanger, but not with drills. It's really hard. Unless we had like a... Well, unless we had like a giant line of drills. That could possibly work. I'm debating making a ship that's just a giant line of drills. We're making a ship that's just a giant line of drills. <laughs> Hazard, you've had your time. We're gonna park you right here. Okay, hear me out on this, right? If we have a ship that's just a giant line of drills that spans maybe two times this area, all we have to do is go straight following this, this guide we've done. And then we back out, go a little bit higher, do the same thing, back out, go a little bit higher, do the same thing. And that right there is a nice line. So that that's my that's my justification for this. We're gonna park this thing right here, even though it's super dangerous because if we, if we try to drive the uh, tram, oh, we're trapped. 
Okay, we have to do some jet pack. If we try and drive the tram back here, we might possibly crash into this thing if we're going too fast. But it's fine. Nothing's going to happen. It's cool. Okay, let's fly ourselves back to base. Uh, I think we're going to build this thing top, top side, top ground. Hey, and we'll be able to use another patron name. Oh, forgot I wasn't invincible. That's what I get for playing admin on the server all the time. <laughs> Trying to crash into stuff and thinking I'm going to live. What if we should... Oh, you know what? Let's let's give this a color. Let's give this moss. I feel like moss would look nice. Not that color, though. Maybe that color? Let's see what it looks like in, in a second when it becomes mossy. Ah, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. It kind of it kind of looks like copper that's faded. Like, big time. Can we do it to the battery as well? I feel like we probably can. If we could uh, access the battery. Which is not necessarily a given. Nope. Maybe we can't. Here's what we'll do. Boom. Everything. Everything's mossy. What do you guys think? That way it looks like... Well, now it looks like it's a remnant from a previous time. But, uh... It's fine. Maybe... Well, actually, no. It's not really that great because we're on Mars, so the moss doesn't really make sense. Hey, guys, you need to make... Space engineers, if you're listening, there needs to be a rust. A rust one. I mean, I guess this kind of looks rusty if it was green in the first place and then the brown is the rust. But, like, having, like, a rust... Coat would be pretty awesome, not gonna lie. That would be pretty cool. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and build our cool little ship that we're gonna build. It's gonna be so so awesome. Maybe. I always hype these things up. It's gonna be so cool! You never know. Okay, let's first drop our landing gear. And I guess we're painting in, in moss color here. Awesome. And let's grab a couple materials just so we... Oh, we already have a bunch of steel plates. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna start with the drills on this one. Uh, because I feel like that's the most important part. Drills are basically gonna... And they don't need to connect to anything, because they're just drilling out an area. All they need to do... Oops. Okay. Whatever. All they need to do is, uh, is be there. They don't need to be connected via con connector conveyors or anything. They'll be fine just existing. I'll weld these all in eventually. By the way, in case you're wondering. Andrew, you need to weld them in. They're not going to provide enough structural support for the, the damage you're going to take. It's fine. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25. Nice solid number. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lots of counting. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, riveting content, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and that's fine. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you guys. <laughs> How many of you guys would be like, no, dislike, if I, if I missed one and it was uneven? It might be uneven. I don't know. All right, let's go and weld this thing. Oh my god, too much welding. So much welding. But it's for a good cause. This is going to save us a lot of time. Maybe. How are we going to connect this thing to get power? These are the questions we should have asked a long time ago. Okay. Connect this. We're going to start with one all the way on the outside. And then we're going to go... I don't know how far they're going to need to be. Probably probably three blocks will be fine. Since they have a nice radius. One, two, three. There we go. Two, three. Three. And we'll have one in the middle. So that, that'll be a kind of a larger radius, but it's fine. Four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three and one, two, three. Yes, that means we're all even on all the sides. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this beast. This monstrosity. <laughs> it's insane. Okay, we're gonna need to grab some motors and large steel tubes for this thing. But let's get rid of some of our weight first. And construction components. And everything. We need everything. Okay. Okay, we're gonna throw our nice little cockpit right there, right center. Looks like we need some construction components, motors, displays, computers. Why did I give all that stuff away? I don't know. Uh, we'll take 10 of these, just in case we need them. So we want the construction planes, motors, computers, displays, more displays. 
probably more computers even. Uh, and I think that was, I, I feel like there was another thing that I'm forgetting. A uh, bulletproof glass, which we don't need at all. I feel so bad for bulletproof glass. Okay, we're going to need an, a uh, motor. Uh, not a motor, one of these things. In fact, we'll go with two for some reason. I don't know, because we have a lot of space. We need computers and power cells. So I'll grab those. I don't know, maybe I'll include this stuff in the video. Usually I cut this stuff out when I'm actually doing the building, but we'll see what you guys think. If you guys like this stuff being added, let me know in the comments. Uh, and if you want like a more cut episode, then also let me know in the comments. I think we only need like 10, I think we only need like 20 of these maybe. Okay, we didn't even need 20. We'll throw those back. Uh, all right, that's looking pretty good. Now we just need some thrusters and gyros. Actually, what we'll do is we'll add a connector on the back right here. Even though it's not really connecting anything, but it's a, it's a nice source of power. We'll need some small steel tubes eventually. Uh, let's let's have two gyros. We'll have one on each side here. Um, in fact, we're gonna put them right there, and we're gonna put them in different places actually, because you know what? I don't want the I don't want the thing to uh, to to break those, because that would be bad. And then we want some thrusters as well. I'm wondering if we should just do small thrusters. Like three on each side, maybe. And then, yeah, look at that down there for the front ones. Then we'll have the side ones right here. Okay, and then finally, what we'll do as well. Aha, okay, this is what we're going to do. Oh, look at this. As soon as I figure out what blocks I need. We're going to do something like this. We're going to stick a drill right there. And the reason we're sticking a drill right here is twofold, once we can actually place it. Number six, I think. Okay, the reason we're sticking a drill right there is twofold. The first reason is so it, it helps to uh, take away the dirt that's going to be uh, running into this as it goes forward. So that's one reason. The second reason is, is it creates a guideline as we're going through so that when we want to go up an area, all we have to do is go up one and we can see exactly where we went to and we can go straight through nice and uh, nice and straight like nice and nice and well. All right, looking good, looking, looking solid. Looks like we need more motors, more motors. Holy crap, how many motors do we need? Well, I guess these are atmospheric thrusters and they, they're always heavy on the motors, so it's fine. You guys ever notice ion thrusters don't use how many how many motors do ion thrusters use? Is it none? Yeah, they don't use any motors because they're ions. Ha ha ha! Small steel tubes, what we need. We had only 69 small steel tubes, so we're almost out of those as well. But those only require iron, so let's go ahead and make like that many of them. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, okay, we need to weld up you and you guys. Are we good on everything? We've got that, 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 okay. Everything's looking pretty solid. All right, let's do the moment of truth. And if this thing falls, then we will have a bit of a problem, but let's hope it doesn't. Aha, it's fine, okay. Okay, it seems like it's going to definitely, okay, I forgot how wide this thing is. I almost totally slammed it against that and destroyed it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. How much time do we have? 24 minutes or 15 minutes. We can probably deal with that. Let's do one of these things. We're gonna grab our block tools. Stick it right there. There we go. We're gonna try using this thing. Oh, we need to name it, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay, you know what? Let's, what do we wanna do? Let's go back here. Let's connect it, let it get some power and we'll come up with a name for this thing. All right, friends, behold the Lobbizinator. <laughs> Named after Lobby Z. <laughs> I don't know, it sounded really cool. I, 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 I really overuse those Innator names, don't I? We have the Lobbizinator, we have the, the Harvinator. Do we have another Nader? The Hazard Miner is not a Nader, but it could be the Hazinator. <laughs> okay, we got the Lobbizinator. Uh, and again, if, if any of you guys don't know where those names come from, it's uh, Patreon tier 2 and above goes on the list of names that I choose from, and I kind of pick a random name. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to be on that list, that's how you get there. 
Even if you're on for like one, like even if you're a patron for one month or something, and then you like leave or something, you're still on the list. So your name will be come up eventually. It's just a matter of time. Um, so yeah, that's how that's done. Okay, uh, we're gonna try and use this thing. I kind of feel like it, no. I was gonna say I want to add more or another gyro because it's kind of slow to turn, but I think it's fine because while it's slow right here to turn, on this side it's really fast. And if I do any more, it's probably going to end up uh, completely destroying itself against the walls. So I think it's going to be okay. All right, let's get in here, disconnect. We probably gained a little bit of power. Yeah, it looks like we gained another another minute of, of power uh, while at full speed. Oh my God, this looks like a crop duster. <laughs> crop dusting across the Mars landscape. Oh, look at the shadow! That looks so cool! And it's going over big red now. I don't want to take it too crazy, because, uh... Because I don't know about this thing. We haven't really tested it yet. We're gonna have a trial by, by combat, or something. Okay, let's get down to the level that we need to be at. And we'll see how this thing works. It could be that it doesn't work at all. Like, it doesn't work as well as I think it will. But we'll, we'll see. Let's go in first person so we can see stuff. Oh man, okay, let's do this. Oops. Okay, all we need to do is keep it l keep it pointed at that level. In fact, it might be easier in first person, even though it's going to be a little bit louder. Alrighty, line number one is a, a go. It should create like a nice flat line, but we'll see what happens. It actually goes kind of fast, to be honest. Look how fast we're going against the ground. In fact, I wonder what's happening on the edges, because they're going through the the uh, they're going through the earth really quickly. Oh, I didn't think about how hard it's going to be to turn here, did I? Okay, there we go. That's a full line. Let's hop out and see what it. Oh, look at that. That is flat. Oh, that's so... Well, it's mostly flat. That's cool. So now we should be able to back out, go up one more. We can get like a second level going. A second floor. I like that. That is pretty good. Yeah. That, 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 is, that is goodness is what that is. Just make sure I'm not too close on the sides and we're good. And we're out. Awesome. Oh, man. That was beautiful. Okay, let's go up a little bit. And do it again. The lobazinator will lobazinate you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have been lobazinated. <laughs> I feel like we strayed a little bit. Uh, how? Wait, how did? Oh, that's the tunnel. That's why. Oh, we did stray a little bit, so we got a little bit on the shelf. That's actually pretty nice, though. I can I, I can walk on here and stuff. I can see what's going on. I kind of like that. Not going to lie. But uh, we did stray a little bit, so next time we've got to be a little more careful about that. But that's pretty good. Is that the height we want? Maybe? Or do we want to go one higher? I think we go one higher. So a three... Well, uh, maybe four, because we were a little bit high already on the other one. Okay, one more. So we go a little bit higher. And then we take it higher. Yeah, we gotta run back to Electric Avenue. Oh, I know why I'm, I was off earlier. It's because I was going for that antenna over there instead of going for the, the marker right here. Alright, there we go. That's looking solid. This this little bit right here will eventually be taken away because we'll, we'll cut into this side a little bit when we do the next line over. But look at this. Oh man, this thing works like a charm. And it kind of looks like, boop, boop, like a little star. <laughs> okay, how much power do you have left? Because I feel like you'll be running out pretty soon. You are running a little bit out. We might be able to do the next line over uh, with the power that you have left. So let's let's uh, maybe give it a go. Side clear. Okay, we're we going to go this side a little bit. Okay, awesome. Let's uh, let's start with the top line since we're already up here. We'll start with a line like this. And we want to cut in a little bit, maybe like that much, yeah. And we'll, we'll, do, we'll do one more line. This is a better view, I think. 
because this allows me to see where we're where we're or like what we're mining and how we're doing as far as meeting the other side goes like see how we have this little dip right here i don't really want that although it does give it a nice little wave look at that it gets a nice little wavy look which is pretty pretty modern if i say so myself very nice interior design of this hangar all right there we go we're gonna have to chill a little bit with the mining for a little oh my god i can't see anything yeah, we're going to have to chill a little bit because we're running out of power. We need to go and recharge. But we got we got a nice bit done here. We have most of the hangar done. I think that'll fit big. Well, we might need a third one if we want to fit big red in there. <laughs> and in fact, we might need to make it a little higher too. This thing really needs lights. Holy crap. Can't see a thing. Maybe that's what we'll add to them is uh, a couple of lights. Just that we'd be able to see. Oh, my hydrogen's almost out too. Not that that really matters since we're in a ship. A whole new world. I can show you the world. Dark and orange, it's Mars land. Full of iron and dust. That's all there is to see right here. A whole new Mars. There we go. Okay, go ahead and connect that. Let's fly over here with our little bit of hydrogen. Grab some more. Boop! There we go. <coughs> Alrighty. We have most of the thing built, but what I think we're going to do is we're just going to let that thing charge a little bit, and we'll head back down and see what we can do inside the base. Alright, you know, while that thing is charging, it'd be nice to get our base repressurized again. Or maybe get those finally fixed. Let's go inside here and see if we can see if we can pressurize our base again after the uh, after the depressurization that happens. Wait, how come? Oh, right. Okay, yeah. So this little bit right here is not technically connected to this little bit right here because there was a bit of a hiccup with uh, with the connecting. But we we did one of those right there. So they're technically connected, but also not really connected. It's really weird. Let's fix this up. Okay, so for pressurization, what we wanted to do is something like this. We wanted to have a couple of these babies. Uh, how are we going to do this, actually? Well, no, we can do this. This will be pretty easy. We need one here and one there. Okay, let's 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 grab our pieces. Do we have them anywhere? Yes, number eight. Haha. -ha. Okay, we're going to paint them the same color as everything. Oh, okay, thought that was going to break the game for a second. Game, you good? There we go. Sometimes space engineers are just like, oh, I don't like what you did there. You should undo that. Okay, let's let's delete this one and we'll put it one right here as well. There we go. That's gonna connect to that piece. Then we'll stick one right here as well. Number eight. Yep, and that no, we'll do one more. How about that? And then that will be all we need. So we can then do something like this. The block right there put a block right here and then come over and meet up with this right there and we'll do the same thing on the other side as well how much iron do we have by the way uh five thousand and that's it so we're kind of out of iron or we will be uh, very soon because we're running a little bit low on steel plates so that's why i was why i was uh, questioning it for now we might just go ahead and block this off because we won't need to use it in the near future and then if we ever do need to use it more, we'll, or, or if we want to, I guess, we'll add one of these fuel things as well. Low. Oh my god, I forgot to recharge my fuel. Uh, it's fine, I can add some stuff here. Can I get that little bit right there? No, it's not going to give it to me. Ah! Okay, it's fine. I'm really curious how this is going to perform, because this is technically another grid. So this might go horribly wrong. Let's, uh, I guess we'll build a button for this which I really should have done earlier. Maybe we'll just build a control panel for now. Stick it right there. We'll grab our airtight. Hangar doors, and how many do we have? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, times two is 12, plus one, plus two is 14. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, all of these. Oh yeah, that's because it's on another grid. Oh my god, man! If there were only a simple way to bring this grid 
to also be a part of this grid, that would probably make my life so much easier. They're technically the- look, look at this. They're technically the same. The only different- look at that. There's like no gap there. That's, I don't even know, man. Space Engineers was just like, you know, this playthrough is going pretty well. Let's let's uh, let's throw him a curveball. All right, now what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna do a save, save as, and we'll do the save. We'll save the backup too. Because what we're technically doing is we're making a uh, hang hangar doors from one grid meet with hangar doors from the other grid, and that could cause bad things potentially. <laughs> so we're being proactive in uh, making sure that we don't completely destroy everything. It'll be interesting to see if this is airtight. Uh, okay, I didn't calculate this perfectly, but that is totally uh, inside the other one. Uh, let's see if this is airtight. Well, we'll have to we'll fix this one first. Hang on. All right, we're almost done sealing up this room. Just got to get this little bit right here done. And very nice. So that part's sealed. We need to get the windows as well. Let's get those placed in. I don't know if we have enough stuff to actually build them up, but we can at least place them. We want some... Oh, shoot. Oh, that's right. We're, we're copying this. I was like, we want some two-by-twos. No, we don't have those. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, we're copying these ones right here with the other side. Yeah. How do I flip it? There we go. Okay. Want it like that, like that, and then we'll have some right here as well. Do we have enough girders and bulletproof glass? No, it looks like we need some more bulletproof glass. And that should be that room sealed up. And then we can test again our uh, our our um, ability to seal off the area. It'll be interesting because I, because we have that one grid with the other grid. Uh, that technically shouldn't be two grids. They're on the same exact space. But space engineers might calculate that differently just because of how it's placed. Oops. I don't want those. There we go. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, okay. Uh, oh shoot, also here. How did we do the doors? Well, you guys, you don't technically have a door, so maybe maybe you're the only door we have. Let's, let's do the same thing, I guess. We'll use the same uh, pieces. One right there, and one right here. I hope we have enough stuff. We do have enough stuff, awesome. Okay. So there we go. There's our entranceway. It's blocked off. Cool. Let's do this as well. That should be everything blocked off except for that weird grid issue. Let's do a quick check. You see see how it's like... It's just... They're not connecting because they're different grids. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, okay. You should be good. Just looking down. Oh, oh, oh. That's going to cause problems. We got to reopen this thing so we can... Uh, set that up. This one as well. I'm not sure if we need that one right there. Uh, are all you guys good? I think you guys, you guys should technically all be good. Now. Alright, let's try it again. Okay, we're close that. Let's hop out of here and we want to go real quick all the way to the other side. We need to close this main hangar door as well. You guys aren't on separate grids, are you? You guys are just different colors, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, close that one and we'll see if we're still pressurized. All right. Let's close this as well for now. Just because we added this room, I want to make sure that that's still pressurized. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure, or tell it to pressurize. Is that the one? No, this is the one. Actually, no, we probably want to, hang on. Let's grab all the vents and say depressurize off. That's what we want to do. Okay, so if I if I do this, are you good? Yes, okay, so you're good that way. That loses the air, unfortunately. Let's go over here. We'll you know, we'll close this. Actually this yeah, this is broken maybe. No, actually no, it's not. Okay, well, I guess we'll do our, our little investigative test again. What we'll do is we'll close this, 
which is the new area. And we'll see if it's pressurizing. No, not yet. Okay, let's close this. Because we did a bunch of stuff to that area as well. Let's see if it's pressurizing. Nope, it's still not. Why are you not pressurizing? What could we have added that would cause a... Wait, oh! Oh, I, I know. I know what it is. We didn't close the door, did we? No, we did not. Ah! There we go. I still really like that shaft. It's so cool. Okay, that's now pressurizing. Okay, uh, I want you to stop pressurizing. Can I tell it to stop? Here. Air vents all turn off. There we go. And we should still have the same pressurization. Yeah, okay, so we do. So what we can do then is we can test these rooms. So this one right here. Let's test that and see if we still have pressure. We still have pressure. Okay, let's test this one. See if we still have pressure. Yep, we still have pressure. Okay, and finally, let's test the new room. The one we've been waiting to see. And see if we still have pressure. Do we still have pressure? I can't actually tell. I thought there'd be like a whoosh if we didn't, but let's see. Ah, we don't have pressure. Okay, you know what? I'm probably going to have to do some troubleshooting on this room uh, on my own. Or maybe I'll have to go in a creative world and try and test the same thing. See if it's even possible. But um, but yeah, so we're, we're going to leave that at that right there. Let's go and see if we can mine out the rest of that hangar. I wonder if we jump at the top if we hit the ceiling. Let's see. Yahoo! That's still a pretty high jump. What the heck? Can, why can I not get in this? What is going on? Oh, is it doing that thing again? Just with this block. What the heck? I can't climb on that block. Okay, whatever. I can jump through it. It's cool. All right, the Lobazinator. Let's see how you're doing on power. Let's go ahead and disconnect you. How do you not have like any more power yet? Do I have to turn these on recharge? Hang on. Okay. Battery. You're on auto mode. Okay, I think I have to turn these on recharge. Dang it. It wasn't recharged that whole time. Has this A been falling the whole time? I feel like it's been falling very slowly every episode. Because wasn't it like all the way up there at the start? Let's see. Can we see it falling? It's moving a little bit. Okay, let's move it. Let's get it out of here. Ah, okay. And that is how we ruin an A-mobile. <laughs> That's a rip. What is this? This was our old miner. What was this one called? It's got no power, so I can't see, but if I turn it on... Oh, this was the Harvenator. Oh my god, it can actually drive! It can actually fly! I didn't realize it could fly, but maybe it's got so many thrusters... Oh no, because we added some uh, some atmospheric ones. Aha, okay. Well, we'll move this to the hangar probably once it's done. The Harbinator. Actually, we could probably do that right now. It'd be super risky. Because it kind of flies mm, like a helicopter. A little bit. It's really hard to fly. It's got like no braking on, on the, either of the sides. So you've got to kind of be very careful with it. But we'll move it to the hangar. Because it's, uh, it's probably a good place for this thing. This will go into the museum. This was our this was our Season 2. If you're on Season 3 and you haven't watched Season 2, this was our Season 2 uh, miner on the moon. And we brought it all the way here because we thought it would be useful. But in fact, um, <laughs> we didn't realize the ion stuff wouldn't work very well. We are going down pretty fast. Probably a little too fast. We're still going down, and I'm not pressing down. Okay, we're good. I look so weird in this cockpit. Why do I look weird? Why is this? What is wrong with this cockpit? What the heck? There we go. I don't know what that was. That was weird. 
Oh shoot, did we go down too fast? Boop. All right, let's go and place this thing over in this general area and we'll deal with it eventually. It doesn't have a landing gear either, so we're just gonna have to like land it on the ground. But it's got a lot of tires that are uh, that are there to stop it from uh, from breaking into stuff. Okay, and turn you off. There we go. The hazard miner has been brought into the hangar. That's a good sign. At least we got something into the hangar this episode. I guess we should also remove the plat like the platform we have right here. We had it here because of Big Red. We had to take things off of Big Red and uh, and remove them. But I think we can probably remove this platform as of now. It's been here for long enough as a as a keepsake. Let's go ahead and weld this thing or grind this thing down. We're just gonna let it fall so it's easier accessible to us. And it should make it look a little nicer in the area too, not having this gigantic grid flying around. We'll only have the stuff that we uh, that we built. Okay, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good except for the flipped over A-mobile. <laughs> I wonder if I can like... You know, some of you guys told me that um, unwelded batteries are a very good counterweight. So, let's try it. Oh, this is not going to go over very well, but we'll we'll give it a go. No pun intended when I said this is not going to go over very well. Okay, batteries unbuilt. Wow. That is impressive. Okay, now we need to do this. Like that, and we'll remove these ones. Wow, okay, that's very hacky, but it worked. Like a charm, actually. Like, not even a problem. Alright, now we can drive this thing around. The A-mobile! Turn on. Nope. Unpark. There we go. Ah, uh, she still has a speed limit. But it's fine. I'll keep the speed limit. We could try and bring it down to the hangar. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Let's try it. That'll be fun. And then we'll end the episode. We'll do the lobby zenator thing uh, next episode. I'm trying to get through the thing. And in fact, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to real quick grab my wheels... And give them a little bit of a higher speed limit here. All right, let's go! <laughs> Heck yeah! Super fast Daymobile. It's not really that fast because it still has a speed limit. I don't really want to flip it over or anything. Not that it's not really easy to flip back, but but uh, obviously it'd be nice to keep it in one piece. All right, we're just gonna try and scale straight down the mountain. We're not even gonna traverse or anything. We're just gonna go. Look how steep it is. Let's see how this works. Yahoo! Oh no. Oh no, it's bumpier than I thought. Oh, and we went sideways. Okay, turn it back, turn it back. We can bring this back. Oh no. We can bring it back. Oh my god! <laughs> flip, flip, hit the wheels. As long as we hit the wheels, we'll be fine. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got a bad hit, we got a bad hit. We don't have any gyros on this thing, I don't think. Okay, we're, we're back. Can we flip it back over though, maybe? No, it's not looking like it. If I turn... If I do this. No, I don't think we can flip back over, unfortunately. But we got it down the hill in one piece, more or less. I mean, it's, it's broken this thing. It needs radio components, which are literally the only thing I don't have on me. But let's do this thing again. Let's do this technique. It gives us more, more room to perfect the technique. No, I'm not... So what you gotta do here is you gotta torque it, right? You gotta, what I was doing right there is I wasn't torquing. You gotta put something like that right there. That gives you the torque. And torque is basically like it, it turns it instead of balancing it into the ground, kind of. So you kind of bring it far out, far out, dude. And then go to big red because we need some, some, uh, some hydrogen. Oh my God, we brought the mini mole. Why aren't we using the mini mole? <laughs> totally should be using the mini mole. Oh, the cockpit of Big Red looks nice. Well, that she does. Someone actually built a uh, a Big Red 2.0 on the Steam Workshop. Like it's suppose I don't know if it's nicer inside, but on the outside it looks really cool. It's like a, a war version of the Big Red. Okay, let's torque it. You ready? Here comes the torque. Bring the torque. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, there we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them like this. 
and break these. All right, excellent suggestion. Whoever told me that the, the unbuilt batteries work for that. Very, very good suggestion. All right, let's jump into here. Oh, it's a little bumpier than I thought in here, actually. I thought it was way less bumpy. Wow. <laughs> wow, it is so bumpy. So bumpy that I can barely get by, actually. It's actually, it's less bumpy though once you, well, no, it's still bumpy. It's still very bumpy, but it's fine. We got the Amobile in here as well. I'm curious as to what it looks like up top, now that the Amobile's down here. We have two ships that were up there are down there now, and we had the, the loading dock, which is now not there. Oh, it looks interesting. It's very, it's very minimalistic, kind of. We've got our, like, our, our engine bay right there, or our uh, recharging station. Then we've got, like, a dedicated recharging station, a grave, the inside of the base right there, and then this. If you were just looking at the outside, you'd have no idea that there was, like, an entire base here. You'd think it's just, like, someone's random uh, stuff that they put down. Like, this is their whole base. You'd be like, where's the refinery and everything? But then you go in, right? You're like, I wonder what this little shack is. And you go in. You're like, huh, what's this thing? You can't see, you can't see anything. Well, you can kind of. You're like, oh, what's this thing? I wonder what happens if I press this button. Whoa. You're going down forever and ever and ever, it seems like. And when you're finally at the center of the earth. Eventually. It takes a really long time. It's really deep. Holy crap. When you're finally there, you're like, oh my god, there's a whole base. Look at this. What is this? A legend room. And what is this? There's a... A room for more vehicles and a room for med base stuff where you can grab med component stuff. And if you keep going, a cool giant room and a, a cool room for that. Well, it's, well, actually, that's not built quite yet, but you follow the pipes, you find the assembler room, you find the. It, it's a really cool base, I've got to say. It's a really, uh, a really awesome base, and I'm very proud of it. It's probably my favorite base this this season. Um, as for my, my favorite build. Of, did I say my favorite base this season? I'm at my favorite base of all the seasons. <laughs> it's my favorite base this season, guys. It's the best base we've built. No, but for real, my favorite build I think of all the seasons is probably still the control tower because that was that was that was really cool. But in a close second is this and the tram. These are really cool as well. And the the windmills. But uh, I think that's where we're gonna end the episode. Next episode we'll finish uh, digging out that hangar probably in like a time lapse at the start of the video and then we'll see what we can do about uh, actually making it into a working hangar where we can fit big red maybe some other ships maybe even this thing we'll try and drive it all the way over there if that's even possible i don't even know but if you guys like the episode please hit the like button put your comments and your suggestions down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next episode of space engineers